This is Nate March and coming to you live from the Monster Island premiere of Godzilla Minus One at the Denim Theater. A huge crowd has gathered to see this new kaiju epic from director Takashi Yamazaki. The line of fans waiting for the first screening started forming yesterday and now goes on for days. Yes, a few crazy people camped out overnight. Let's talk with some of these true fans who I'm totally choosing at random. This way, Jet. Hey, you smartly dressed gentleman there. Yes, you. What are your names? You know our names, Marshan. Raymond. He's conducting interviews. Jim Crackers, an ink slinger. That's not... Raymond Martin, your resident law ranger at the Monster Island Legal Action Team. And this is my sidekick, Gary Stewart. Uh, hi. How long have you been standing in line? Five minutes. But you're close to the front. You'd be amazed what Monster Island tourists will do for people wearing Go Ranger costumes. Secret identity, Freeman. Anyway, what are you looking forward to most in this film? That there's finally a Godzilla film set during the time of my youth. You had a youth? You doubt me? I'll have you know that back in my day... Thanks for your time, guys. Let's see who else is in line. Huh? See a bit of a gap back there. I wonder why it's... Oh, no. Oh, Nathan, M- Mr. Jaguar, do do come back. I see you're holding a microphone and you wouldn't want to leave me out now, would you? <laughs> we'll, uh, just move along. Come, come now, Nathan. You, you, you do see me over here, don't you? Please, please come, come forward and bring your microphone. <laughs> oh, good God, Silla. Yes, sir, I see you. It's hard to miss when you've parted this red sea of a crowd like a musty-smelling Moses. Why, yes, yes, I I did notice there was somewhat of an odd odor around here. It smells like the outside world, like like, like photosynthesis is happening, but not the controlled kind I like in my lab. No, the natural icky stuff, and there is a bit of B.O. present, but what do you expect with a line full of nerds? <laughs> <laughs> little funny there, I thought you might appreciate. Anyway, what are you most excited to see in Minus One? Well, you see, uh, and I know you already know this about me, but I have quite the fascination with the topic of post-war plant usage in, in Japan. And, well, as a connoisseur of plants, I thought I might see how much the film delves into the oft-neglected topic of plant life in a post-war world. I mean, when the bombs went off and the war ended, what did all those gardens and potted plants inside of the homes of Japan have to go through? What kind of horrors did they see? What did they think of the whole thing? Well, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hoping the film dived a little bit into this, into this often overlooked aspect of post-war Japan. Is uh, Somehow, I doubt Yamazaki will include that. Oh, well, I'd be shocked and not going to lie personally offended if he didn't. There's so much interesting stuff to poke through on the topic. Did, did you know that in 1947, there were three chrysanthemum plants for every resident of Japan? Did you know that? That's... fascinating. I guess. Well, I'm glad to hear you agree, <laughs> Because, as we all know, when you drop nukes on plants, nothing good happens. And soon, soon, soon the whole world will know. We'll know what happens when the plants and fungi of the world are thoroughly ticked off. They'll mess around one day, and they'll find out. (laughs) Anyway, I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you for that... insight. (sighs) guy lives in empty parentheses. Let's move on to... 
Oh, look! There's a lovely fangirl waiting to see the king of the monsters! She's hard to miss with her blazing red hair. Why, thank you. <clears throat> and who might you be? My name's Bonnie Lass. And I'm a waitress at Nessie's Brasserie. You mean Mixmaster. Isn't that a transformer? True. Mix mistress, then. I like that. At the risk of asking a duh question, are you a Godzilla fan? Mm, not really. Oh? Then what brings you to the island's biggest event of the year? Networking. Networking? Yeah. I'm kind of looking to get a new job right now. Don't say that too loud. Little half Scotsmen have big ears. Boss <gasps> is here. I'll be discreet as a ninja. Like this. Wah, wah, wah. No one can see me. Sure. I'm hoping that Den Hom is hiring, or that I can meet one of the island's other business owners. Godspeed with that. Thanks. Pleasure talking with you. Same to you. Bye bye. I think we have time for one more interview, so let's see who we have here. Oh, wow. Here's this dapper dude with a robot and a floating sphere with four antennas? Kevin Gomera, here to entertain you. And uh, who are your mechanical friends here? Why, they're the newest act to join the Markalite Lounge's multi-talented roster of star performers, Rushbot and Sputnik. Privet Komarev. A Russian robot? Soviet, technically. Rushbot escaped Soviet Russia and defect to America to become comedian, and Yekov Smirnov steal Rushbot's routine. But in Soviet Russia, routine steal you. Ha! You created the Russian reversal? Yes, yeah, Sputnik. He is smart for millennials. Uh, thank you? Also, your friend here is named after Russia's first satellite, I see. Yet. He is old Russian satellite. It... Er... Uh, he... Gained sentience? Long story. Rushbot sometimes talk about it while telling jokes. And you'll hear even more of this Dio Duo's comedy stylings after Minus One's premiere at the Markalite Lounge's exclusive after party. Be there. Shameless self-promotion, am I right? Yes, Sputnik. In Soviet Russia, promotion ashamed of you. That made sense. Anyway, enjoy the film. You too. Dosvidanya, comrade. With that, the theater has opened its doors to let everyone in to see the most hyped Godzilla film in years. If you're visiting Monster Island, reserve your tickets now. For everyone else, Godzilla Minus One is coming to a theater near you December 1st. A special MIFV episode discussing the film with the infamous Jack G-Man Hudgens will drop not long after that. Jimmy's holding a place for us, but I thought he was... Oh, never mind. So, come to the Denim Theater for a show to gratify your curiosity. Thank you for listening to The Monster Island Film Vault, a podcast produced and hosted by Nate Marchand. If you want to join the discussion and be heard on the show, we'd love to hear from you. So email us at feedback at monsterislandfilmvault.com. Our website is monsterislandfilmvault.com. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Monster Island Film Vault. And on Twitter, where our handle is at the Monster Isla one You can subscribe to us on YouTube, Spotify, and TikTok. Follow Jimmy from NASA on Twitter at NASA Jimmy and our many other colorful characters using the links in the show notes. The podcast logo was created by Tyler Souls from TylerDrawsComics.com. Our theme song is Wanderer on the Offensive, live edit by B33J, Serax, Juan Madrano, and Nonsensical Lexus, which is a remix of Counterattack, Battle with the Colossus, and the Opened Way, Battle with the Colossus, by Koatani from the video game Shadow of the Colossus. All film and audio clips belong to their respective copyright holders, and no infringement is intended or implied. Please rate and review us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or Podchaser to spread the word about the show. You can also support us by joining MIFV Max on Patreon. 
The Monster Island Film Vault is a Moonlighting Ninjas Media production. Sayonara! <laughs>